now invite uh, member of parliament uh, honorable um, Hilary Penn for his contribution well thank you very much indeed um, oh, sorry I'm just going to stand up here Uh, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, as you may be aware, Fabian Hamilton, who is sponsoring today's meeting, is currently in the chamber for Foreign Office questions. I've just been in contact with him, and he will be coming here as soon as uh, that session is over. She should be here in about 15 minutes or so. And can I give you my apologies that I then have to depart because there is then uh, there's going to be a statement on the events in Sudan in the House of Commons this afternoon and in the Chamber um, for that. Thank you very much for your kind invitation to join you here today. The, the cause of Kashmir and the suffering of its people has been close to my heart because it was close to the heart of so many of my constituents in Leeds, with whom I have had many discussions over the years. And we have met in many different forms on many different occasions uh, to talk about what is happening, uh, the oppression and suffering, the lack of opportunity, the loss of life. And I know that there is a great desire, above all on the part of the people of Kashmir, for these problems to be resolved and for a safe and peaceful future to be secured. Now, all of us in this room are very aware of the history. We've had a reminder of it in the contributions we've already heard uh, this afternoon. And all of that is true, but we cannot undo what has happened in the last 70 years. Because that is history. <clears throat> what we have to do now is to focus on the things that may lead, we all hope, to a resolution of the conflict. And I know there is a, a great weight of expectation on the part of the British government and of the United Nations because of the role that UN played, Britain's role as well. But I wanted to say to you this afternoon what I'm sure you are all aware of. The United Kingdom and the United Nations cannot on their own solve the problem of Kashmir, cannot enable the people of Kashmir to do what they've long wanted, which is to decide for themselves how they wish to be governed in the future, in the plebiscite that was promised all of those years ago. And reference has been made, of course, to India and to Pakistan, the relations between those two countries, or to be more accurate, the lack of a relationship between those two countries. And the hard truth is that there will be no progress in Kashmir until India and Pakistan are prepared to sit down with each other to talk about its future. Because unless that happens, I do not see from my perspective, you may have a different view, but I do not see from my perspective how things are going to change. So we must de-escalate tension, we must do everything that we can to try and improve uh, such dialogue as there is between India and Pakistan, but we know that that relationship is extremely fraught. Also, for reasons of history, some of those are quite uh, recent. Because ultimately, our responsibility as the United Kingdom, given our historic role, and the United Nations uh, as guardian of its resolutions, is to do everything that we can to bring that day about, where the people of Kashmir, which is what you want and what I want, all of my constituents want, and above all, the people of Kashmir want, is the chance to determine their own future. That is at the heart of our democratic tradition, where we vote to decide how and by whom we are governed. And like you, I long for the day when that opportunity comes about for the people of Kashmir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Your Honourable Mr. Ben. And now may I invite uh, Mahmoud Kashmiri Sahib for his uh, contribution? Thank you. 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 Thank you.